Part B is where we're actually going to define what does it mean for our fork to deflect? What does it mean when our fork does this? What does it look like at time point one, time point two, time point three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, etc. All the way to 500 time, 501 time points. So uh, you're going to write another function. The inputs to this function, these come from your, um, these come from your, parameters function. So L, this is gonna be a scalar value. Just pick one of your lengths of the eight. Your Young's modulus, density, uh, cross-sectional moment, cross-sectional area. And then T max is gonna be one over the frequency for that length. Or three, sorry, three times. Three times one over the frequency for that length. And then you're gonna do a bunch of calculations. X and T are those vectors of values of your X values defining zero to L. Um, and then t from 0 to whatever this t max is, um, 3 seconds, 2 seconds, 0.1 seconds, whatever it is, um, defined by the equations in the introductory video. bk, phi k, ck, and omega k, these are calculations from a bunch of uh, equations, and then w is your matrix of um, your deflections over time. Okay, so bk is this equation here. It's zk over l. Your zks are the roots to this function. You don't need to calculate them. What you're gonna do is you're gonna call this here function. So newt ref, this is provided for you. So make sure you download that from UbLearns, put it in your current folder, and then you can just type in this line of code. Keep in mind that k is from 1 to q. q is 12, so k is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc. So you're going to do this in a loop. So this goes inside a loop. Because all your k values. Okay, So you're going to calculate all of your z's. In fact, it has to be in a loop. You cannot use it, do it in a vector, because this function is not written to work with a vector of uh, k values, so make sure it's in a loop. Once you have all of your zk values, you can get your bk values. So you're gonna have 12 bk values. So that's bk. Phi k is this equation right here. So note we have phi k given an x of m. So this here is a vector. So for a given k value, for k equals one, you can calculate your phi k values. For k equals two, you can calculate phi k values. So you're gonna wanna grab each individual bk value uh, here and all there. xm is gonna be a vector. So you're gonna get a vector of values for each k. So k equals one, k equals two, k equals three, k equals four, et cetera. You'll put them all in a matrix. So either you have m rows and q um, columns, where each column corresponds to whatever this calculation is for a given k value. Once you have phi k, uh, we can get ck. So ck isn't, there's not a direct equation for it. Um, you're going to follow this process. You're essentially going to solve a system of equations using left division. So we can rewrite the system as a matrix P. P is your phi k matrix. C is your unknown. It's going to be a single vector of unknown values. And W1. This W1 comes from uh, your introductory video, that initial deflection. So phi or P comes from this calculation up here. C is your unknown. And then W1, it's your deflection at the first time point. So it's defined by that equation uh, in the introductory videos. So once you have that, then you're just going to say that C equals P left divide W1. Yeah. Let me confirm that. <laughs> yes. And so this is how you solve for C. Once you have CK, then you can get omega K. This is your equation for omega K. It's pretty straightforward. You plug in all your BK values um, and you can get WK. Then once you have all of that fun stuff, you're gonna go back up to this top equation and plug it in. 
So keep in mind, um, there's two sets of variables going on. You have M values and N values. For each M and N number, you are doing this calculation. So you're going to have loops upon loops upon loops in here. So you're going to plug in your X vector. You can plug in uh, your Omega K is also um, a vector. Omega K is also a vector. A TN is also a vector. These are all vectors of different lengths. N, N, uh, XM has M values, uh, TN has N values, and Q, M, Omega K has Q values. So you need to pick and choose which variables you're going to be calculating things for. Keep in mind, when you sum this, this K corresponds to Omega K here, theta, phi K, and CK. So this is a matrix, actually, and this is a vector as well. So there's lots of pieces going on. You're going to have loops inside of loops inside of loops. So you're going to need a loop. You don't have to, but essentially you would need all of your M values, all of your N values. So you have one to M, you're dealing with one to N, and you're dealing with one to Q. So you got loops upon loops upon loops. What you're going to get is you're going to get a matrix. that has 201 rows and 501 columns. So W is gonna look like this. Where these, this is your deflection at T equals one. Your deflection at T equals delta T. Um, your deflection at T, or T equals zero. Delta T, T equals two delta T. T equals three delta T all the way down to t equals whatever your number is at n, your t max. So each column corresponds to a single deflection. So this one, if we plot it, it'll probably look like this. If we plot this one, it'll look slightly lower. This one will look slightly lower. This one will look slightly lower. Uh, and we can see it go down and then back up and down and oscillate back and forth as we expect to see a fork when we hit it on something and it uh, vibrates back and forth. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, this equation right here is going to be the most confusing. But keep in mind, you've got lots of different variables going on. You have M, N, and K. Generally, for a summation like this, you're looking at one loop per variable. So three loops here. You don't have to structure it that way. I wrote it in two loops. Um, there are other ways to do it, but in general, you would sum up all of your K values for a given M and N to find W, X, 1, T, 1, W, X, 2, T, 1, W, X, 3, T, 1. So essentially you're filling in for T or for N really equals one x1, x2, x3, x4, all the way down here, and then you do this next row or column of calculations, and then this next column of calculations, etc.